New York City, a bustling metropolis known for its resilience, has faced significant challenges in recent years. One of the most striking being a notable population decline. Between 2020 and 2023, the city saw a dramatic reduction in its residents, with approximately 580,000 people leaving, nearly 10% of its population. This exodus has had profound effects on the local economy, particularly impacting retail sectors such as grocery stores. The decline in population correlates directly with a decrease in customer base for many businesses. Iconic locales, such as a long-standing family-owned grocery on the Upper West Side, have had to shutter their doors. The reasons extend beyond mere population loss. A rise in operational costs and dwindling profitability are major contributors. These closures are not just numbers but represent a significant shift in the community landscape and the loss of familiar, relied-upon amenities. New York's high cost of living is infamous, and recent increases in expenses have exacerbated this issue. Tolls for bridges and tunnels, essential for commuting and transporting goods into Manhattan, have seen hikes discouraging both customers and suppliers. This has created a vicious cycle where fewer people shop locally, further depressing profits for businesses that depend on a steady flow of local shoppers. Compounding the economic challenges is a surge in crime rates, particularly shoplifting, which has escalated to such an extent that NYC has been dubbed the shoplifting capital of the world. This surge in crime has been disastrous for retail, with many stores closing due to unsustainable losses. The municipal response has been criticized as inadequate, leaving businesses to fend for themselves in a challenging environment. The closure of grocery stores in NYC is not an isolated phenomenon, but a symptom of broader economic and social issues. The city's focus on managing the migrant crisis, while vital, has arguably come at the expense of supporting local businesses and addressing crime effectively. This imbalance has left many small businesses vulnerable, leading to closures and a palpable impact on community cohesion and access to basic services like food shopping. The issue is multifaceted, impacting residents across the five boroughs, particularly in lower-income and densely populated neighborhoods. One of the primary reasons for grocery stores closing down in NYC is the steep increase in commercial rents. Many grocery store owners find themselves unable to sustain their businesses as rental costs soar, making operations financially untenable. There's also a growing trend of real estate developers purchasing buildings, with ground floor grocery stores to convert them into more lucrative ventures such as luxury residential units or higher paying retail chains. This redevelopment often doesn't include plans for a grocery store, leading to fewer food shopping options for residents. The rise of big supermarket chains and the expansion of online grocery delivery services have put enormous pressure on smaller, independent grocery stores. These large entities often benefit from economies of scale that allow them to offer lower prices and a wider selection of goods, drawing customers away from local mom-and-pop shops. Grocery stores in NYC also face numerous logistical challenges, from limited parking for deliveries to stringent regulations that can complicate daily operations. These challenges, coupled with thin profit margins typical in the grocery business, make it difficult for stores to thrive or even survive. The closure of local grocery stores has far-reaching implications. As grocery stores disappear, food deserts expand, particularly in economically disadvantaged areas. This phenomenon occurs when residents have limited access to affordable and nutritious food, often leading to poorer health outcomes due to a reliance on convenience foods. Grocery stores serve as economic anchors in neighborhoods, providing jobs and supporting local economies. Their closure can lead to a decrease in local employment opportunities and a downturn in nearby businesses that rely on foot traffic from grocery shoppers. Grocery stores are more than just places to buy food. They are communal spaces where neighbors meet. Their loss can contribute to a sense of isolation and weaken the social fabric of communities. Addressing the issue requires innovative solutions that balance economic viability with community needs. Local governments could offer tax incentives or subsidies to grocery stores that open or remain in high-need areas, helping to offset high rents and operational costs. Policymakers could implement zoning laws that require new developments to include space for grocery stores. Such policies could help ensure that real estate developments contribute positively to community food access. Programs aimed at supporting small, independent grocery stores through grants or low-interest loans could help these businesses compete in a tough market environment. There could be an increased focus on community-supported agriculture, CSA programs, 
farmers markets, and cooperative grocery stores that are owned and operated by members of the community. The disappearance of grocery stores in New York City is a complex issue that poses significant challenges but also presents an opportunity for community resilience and innovation. Addressing this crisis effectively will require a concerted effort from all stakeholders, including city officials, real estate developers, community leaders, and residents. As the issue of disappearing grocery stores in New York City continues to escalate, it becomes crucial to understand not only the broader impacts but also the underlying nuances that contribute to this urban challenge. Changing consumer preferences and behaviors also play a significant role in the grocery store decline. With the advent of meal kit services and the growing popularity of specialty stores, like organic or vegan markets, Traditional grocery stores find it challenging to keep up with the specialized demands of modern consumers. Urban infrastructure in New York City, designed more for density than convenience, often makes it difficult for grocery stores to operate efficiently. Issues such as limited loading zones, congested traffic, and high costs associated with receiving deliveries can deter store operations and profitability. As neighborhoods evolve and gentrify, the cultural shifts can lead to changes in the type of retail that is successful often at the expense of traditional grocery stores. New residents may prefer boutique shops or specialty food markets, which can squeeze out standard grocery stores. Without easy access to grocery stores, residents might turn to fast food or convenience stores that offer less healthy options. This shift can lead to widespread nutritional deficiencies, particularly affecting children, the elderly, and low-income families. When fewer grocery stores are available, the lack of competition can lead to higher food prices impacting everyone, but especially those in poorer neighborhoods where residents may already be struggling with financial constraints. Some communities and local governments are already taking creative steps to combat the loss of grocery stores. Some initiatives involve mobile grocery stores or grocery buses that travel to areas without easy access to fresh food. These mobile stores can offer fresh produce and other staples at affordable prices directly to the communities that need them most. Urban agriculture is gaining traction as a way to supplement the lack of local grocery stores. Community gardens, rooftop farms, and hydroponic systems in urban areas can provide fresh produce to local residents and create communal spaces for urban dwellers to connect. Collaborations between city governments and private companies can lead to mutually beneficial solutions, such as the development of mixed-use spaces that include grocery stores as essential community resources, educating residents about nutrition and food preparation especially in conjunction with local schools and community centers, can mitigate the impact of having fewer grocery stores. These programs can teach people how to make healthier food choices, even when options are limited. The loss of grocery stores in New York City is not just a simple matter of economics. It's a complex issue that touches upon aspects of urban planning, community health, and social equity. Solving it requires a multifaceted approach that considers the unique needs of different neighborhoods and integrates the efforts of multiple stakeholders. By fostering innovation and focusing on sustainability and accessibility, New York can turn the tide against the decline of its essential grocery stores, ensuring that all residents have access to affordable, nutritious food.